Hey, what's up there? My name is Sam Kagesha. I'm the owner of Salama Productions. And today I want to talk about my A camera. I got a couple of cameras. Currently I shoot Canon, but that is not my A camera. I'll be talking about my A camera. And my A camera is a Red Komodo X. The newest Red camera, Komodo X. Let's take a look at it. I decided to order this this camera, Red Komodo X, for many reasons. So from today going forward, Red Komodo X is gonna be my A camera, and my B camera will be the the Canon C70, which is a cinema camera, and my C cameras will be the Canon R5. I got a couple of those. There's one that's recording there, one up here, and another one there. And a couple of Canon RF glass, the RF lenses. You got 85 to 85 millimeter 1.2. I have 100 to 500. I have a 70 to 200 2.8 over there. I have 24 to 70 over there. And I have 24 to 105 f4. So why Komodo X? or rather why red camera for me my a camera should be able to take most of my boxes and for that reason i chose red red is a great camera this red komodo x sits somewhere in between the lower red which is the og red komodo and the the high i mean the high end one the red raptor xl so it sits somewhere in between and that makes a lot of financial uh, it makes a lot of sense financially for me to get this red komodo x so as i unbox this this is my choice of camera it's a pretty good camera for many reasons number one is the image quality that comes out of this red camera this small body form factor which is also another box to tick packs a lot of power a lot of horsepower and I really like this camera because of the dynamic range. This camera shoots raw. It shoots raw. And one thing that surprises me is that if I was to record a 4K camera, I mean 4K footage with my phone, my iPhone, and I record 4K on this red Komodo X, which is red raw, the footage on this is huge than what I would get from here. Amazing, right? And remember that is raw. I have all the latitude and the dynamic range to shift my colors and the image quality that comes out of this camera is amazing. So number one, it has to be the image quality. Number two, I love this camera because of the frame rates. This thing here, this camera can do very high frame rates. It can do 6K. Is a 6K global sensor. It can do 6K resolution of up to 80 frames per second. It can do 4K 120. So that's a ton of slow motion, slow motion options in this small form factor body. And like my C70 there or my Canon R5. So this has high frame rate. That's another reason. Number three, it uses the RF lens. I already own a ton of these lenses. So for me, it's, a, it's, a, it's an easy transition because this is RF. And it has RF locking mechanism. You see that? How amazing. So I'm pretty sure and solid that my lenses will be firm on this body. RF locking lens. Amazing. RF lens goes into right there. And the image quality of the red. The other thing is the media. It uses the same media of the cameras I'm currently using, like the R5s, all these R5s. They use the same CF Express. And uh, this is the same type of media at high frame rate and better way much better quality then the dynamic range of this camera is amazing uh, 16 plus stops of dynamic range so i don't have to worry so much about exposing because i know when i'm recording raw i can go back in post and i'm able to recover a lot of information because i have a lot of latitude another box is the image quality of this camera is a color 16 bit color unlike my canon r5s that are 10 bit this camera records 16 bit so i have a lot of latitude 
and it can record very high quality image so that's another box that this camera takes for me and uh, is SDI out the media is amazing the battery uses the v-mount battery unlike the Komodo OG so I have a lot of power options that can last me nearly the whole, the whole day because I bought also the batteries which I'll be showing uh, here shortly so there's a lot of reason why I would choose Komodo X over my C70 or over my Canon R5s number one is image quality the type of media the dynamic range the high frame rate and this camera I can also control it from my phone I can control it fully from my computer I can control it remotely and yet I have that red image the red image quality I have a ton of audio capability so it has actually very much better better preamps unlike my Canon R5s so this has 48 and the audio inbuilt here is pretty much and it's excellent it's amazing it's amazing so this is amazing so for me it's an easy transition there's no overheating in this camera it's got a fan the other options it has is an SDI I usually like stream a lot and this SDI because I use SDI switchers it just slaps in there the another reason that I love this camera or I chose it as my A camera is the output capability I have the SDI over here and there's also USB-C so I can output all these and number three I can output using the DSM, DSMC3 monitor which goes over here I'll be showing you with only single cable so I can output to the camera I have USB-C and I have the SDI so with this capability or support of the DSMC3 monitor leaves me these two options to output more and I can apply the lookup table a lot on either of these so I have multiple outputs from this camera it has option for DTAP the power battery is amazing because I can use bigger batteries that last nearly the whole day or many many hours uh, there are several of those but I did got some of them here I'll be showing you so for those many reasons I can re camera to be the best camera to get the best image number one reason or the box that this camera takes is the image quality the high frame rate the options to control this camera remotely I can control these using the red tool I can control this camera from my phone or even remotely I can control this camera from the computer I can control this whole camera from the monitor over here the DSMC3 monitor I got with this so the options and capability to control this monitor to get the best image quality the dynamic range the red codec the high frame rate the internal row and it's amazing when you talk about internal row if I was to record 4k video using my iPhone and record the, sa the same 4k video using my this camera raw the files from my phone are bigger than what I'll get from here amazing so that's amazing because the raw file has all the latitude the quality I can get from here this is a beast for low light so this is going to be my a camera and I'm very happy with my purchase because it's pocket friendly it's not the top on the line there is a Raptor versions of this which sits a little higher on this and there's another one that sits below the Komodo OG or the older Komodo so the Komodo X is gonna be my A camera and I'm very much excited I did get some of the accessories with this camera and the first one is the battery so I did get these two batteries these are the ND in the pro batteries 98 watts so they can last me a long time i got two of these the indie pro 98 watts they are pretty good with the charger i also got the monitor the dsm dsm dsmc3 monitor which is a seven inch from red and i have full control of this camera for this very monitor and with only one single cable so I no longer need to use the batteries or swapping the batteries to power the monitor this monitor will be powered using a single cable by the camera so this is another accessory very important I got together with this camera 
I also got the, the top handle, the red top handle from red, which is pretty, pretty good. I did get the audio capabilities because this camera has very good preamps. I got the adapter or the converter, the XRL converter, so I can get clean audio straight from the DJ or from the mixer straight to the camera. It records 48. So I did get this one is very very important. The S the XRL adapter that that goes directly to the camera, and of course I got the red media, the one terabyte CF Express cards from Red. These are great. They record very high data fr uh, frame rate, and they are solid great. The one terabyte CF Express from Red. Yeah, so those are the some of the accessories I did get together with this camera. And of course I got the, the power cable so I can power this camera directly using the, the cable. Uh, I can hook it up to AC directly if I don't want to use the batteries or if I'm close to power. And that gives me an option to be able to, to hot swap it. So that's it. I'm very happy about my purchase. It's not a cheap investment. It is an investment that is worth. But this camera, I can't wait to go out there and shoot. Should the low light capability, should the high frame rate and the image quality that will come out of this red Komodo X red roll, I can't wait to shoot. So it's time to go out and shoot some of the footage and see.